These trash cans, just fine for Midtown Billings. But in bear country, you're going to need something a lot stronger. The owners of the Gardner Market know it all too well, and they were validated over the weekend when they had a big visitor. I mean, the claws were just massive. Rebecca Demery couldn't quite believe what her security cameras caught this past weekend. I was just shocked. <laughs> a giant grizzly bear sniffing around a trash can outside the Gardner Market. But this was no ordinary trash can. It's billed as bear proof. And here's the evidence. The bear was able to pull it down with ease, but couldn't get anything out. We were really excited. There have been a lot of reports of bears getting into trash in town. And then just to be able to see, hey, our can was knocked over, but it didn't get any rewards. It was, uh, it, it was, it was pretty exciting to see. It's definitely not the first time the bear has been spotted. These are videos from resident Brandy Nichols showing multiple grizzly sightings over the last 10 days. And we have this video sent to us from a field two miles north of Red Lodge. There's more activity uh, than, t than normal, uh, normal years this fall. FWP spokesman Greg Lemon says they've seen a smaller berry crop in a lot of areas this year, forcing bears down from the high country and into towns. That's not ideal, but he likes seeing incidents end in success. Make no mistake, a bear's place is not on the sidewalk in front of the grocery store. But if, it, if a bear winds up there, the, the worst thing in the world would be to get a free meal out of it. So, so yeah, it was, it was good to see the bear proof container did its job. He'll keep sending a message, though, because it only takes one mistake. If three of the four houses have their food sec secured, but the fourth house doesn't, and it turns into everybody's problem. You know, if you're on the fence about making this investment, you know, it's just really encouraging to see that it paid off. After all, nobody wants to see their trash turn into bare treasure. Casey Conlon, MTN News.